So um, let's see what's coming your way. We do have the, the Tower in reverse and the King of Pentacles in reverse. My dear Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn and we are avoiding disasters there. Right? We are trying at least. Some of you we are just, um, we just came out of, right? The energy is in reverse. It is the aftermath of a tower moment and we are building something slowly. One step at a time, baby steps. We do have the Devil and the Nine of Cups, Capricorn energy and Wish Fulfillment energy. So let's make sure we are not tempted by things we don't want to be tempted. Three of Swords. Oh yeah, we enjoy them for a while and then it comes with heartbreak. So let's be smart here. Good. Enough, I guess. So let's cut the cards and see the bottom of the deck for the overall energy for this week. Libra, and we do have Nine of Pentacles. It is in reverse, which is amazing because it speaks of commitment. So probably you want to commit to somebody or, uh, you know, this person wants to commit to you, the person you are dealing with. And they want to put the burdens down and might be a Pisces, Cancer or a Scorpio. We do have the Queen of Cups in reverse. They want commitment and I would say maybe they are a little bit unhappy over here. We do have the sun or maybe a Leo you are dealing with, Libra, but let's see. So you probably know by now, right, my love readings, I have energies on your side, the person you are dealing with and the mutual energies. Yeah, it was that card that wanted to come out. Seven of Swords. The cheating, lying and deceiving card. I'm going to put it there. Really try to come out. Anyway, so Libra, energies on your side. The person you are dealing with and mutual energies. Current energies on your side. The person you are dealing with and mutual energies. We get three. They wanted to stick together, so. Possible outcome for the third week of February on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual energies. Bottom of the deck, two of cups. That was betrayal, but that is love too. Two of pentacles, somebody is thinking, juggling to come back to you, Libra, if you still want them back, because we have the seven of swords energy and the ten of wands. It was a burden. There were unhappy times and now that is love. At the end of the day, that is love, right? <laughs> um, so Libra, in the past on your side, we do have the Three of Pentacles. Um, so this is you wanting this partnership. This is you working with this person to have something solid, eventually to build a life with them. Um, Three of Pentacles is really being serious about it and this is really about bringing the skills to the table and making sure you know that we are building something solid this is about the intent this is about concrete steps to accomplish that kind of partnership that you wanted um meaning business right uh, might be in the workplace with three of pentacles is um an energy of workplace but can be a business place can be somebody you um exchange services somebody you meet when we, when you do whatever business you do um that kind of energy it can be a team uh, a team member a colleague um that kind of energy but there was a partnership it was a solid one or at least it was a promising one right um it's the one that goes from that is an offer on the table juggling with the two of pentacles three starting to build for a uh, foundation right so um, it was evolving, but then I believe it stopped. We do have the four of wands in reverse, and we know maybe you um, live together with this person. Four of wands is an energy of house, home, uh, can be family. It is my marriage card, actually, my second one after the um, the Hierophant. So there was, a, there was a marriage, there was a commitment, there was something serious, and you really meant it, and, and then that was not, right? Then there was an empty house. And um, 
And probably when they left, they pulled also the roots that you just created, right? Um, I believe Libra, they unapologetically let you go or release this. We do have the Eight of Swords here in reverse and we have the Page of Cups in reverse. Um, well, releasing without emotions, right? That is the Page of Cups in reverse. Unapologetic. Why, why should I, um, right? Why should I go slowly about it? Why should I be um, uh, caring about it? And then that was the Eight of Swords. I don't know if they uh, felt somehow confined and limited and restricted and maybe they felt like um like in a prison or something felt like um maybe you're dealing with um, libra with somebody who needed uh their freedom and their time and um you know a commitment might um have felt like a coffin so and we don't need that i mean god we are free human beings so um and they might have felt like this and again that was a time where they uh, simply left and they left with some unfinished business or you did or the way it ended. Um, it was sudden. That's the seven of pentacles, right? It was quick and left um, the world in reverse. This is unfinished business. This is a cycle ending too quickly. This is the conversation we never had and the separation that never uh, actually happened properly. So. You know, we can discuss as adults and um, and draw a couple of conclusions and enabling like a, a world of mental freedom from this. But hey, not everybody is the same. So I believe this is, I mean, the energies are saying that this is what happened. And I, um, yeah, if that is one Libra annoying combination is the two of cups with the seven of swords. And while this can speak of a third party situation and um you know and being the third wheel or whatever whatever is said when it, because when it's love it's love and i'm anyways that's a whole philosophy i have on this it is kind of annoying this energy of yes i have emotions for you yes i love you but still that is something hidden and slippery and and there are slides when i mean why not speaking the truth right and as adults we can manage the truth and see what we can do i mean um, but it's, uh, this is the energy here. And of course you can swap the energy if you feel like, but on your side, you were the, the one, um, wanting to put uh, roots down and, and, uh, you know, build something. And on their side, it was, um, they were still looking and searching and trying to understand. I believe that, um, maybe they were unable to commit, um, or maybe the commitment in itself was very burdening to them. Uh, draining them out and um, of whatever good they had in them and um, and this is what happened and I say that because uh, Queen of Cups in reverse right of course can be a Pisces Cancer Scorpio to distance but can also be somebody um, who was not available you know emotionally um, Libra on your side we um, we do have the temperance, such that is energy, and we do have the page of swords in reverse. <clears throat> so it might not be a world of communication here. We may not be exchanging with this person, but I do love the temperance because it's an energy of peace of mind, it's an energy of healing, of compromising, meeting the, the person halfway, combining differences, trying to understand alignment, you know, all that good energy guidance um, and patience. Um, it's holding your horses, right? Might we kind of thought that this is how it feels. And, um, and you might be stalking this person or they might be stalking you, you know, page of swords in reverse. We know it's, uh, the energy of somebody not saying a word, but going through all your social media or whatever you have and, and, uh, looking and watching and seeing and, um, keeping an eye on you actually, or maybe this is you, it's on your side, right? So can be you really um, uh, doing that because you want to have news or you want to see how their life evolves and uh, and um, you know what's um, what's happening now the person you are dealing with uh, I don't know where they are rushing they might be towards you honestly they are coming over here but you know 
we do have knight of swords well this is you and we do have the chariot this is triumphant moving forward but then we have you so i believe somebody is planning to come towards you but it does look like an eruption right this is like a burst of energy and can also be you or um, your energy but you know wanting to rush towards this person but it's on their side so i don't know if they are breaking free again and it's uh <laughs> It's the theme coming back that's amazing. We have here releasing and breaking free with the Eight of Swords in reverse, but this is of their own mind and releasing a situation. And right now they are breaking free of something. So I don't know if somebody left it for somebody else and it was um, it happened in a split second and there was boom and now it's the, the same urgency kind of to rush back towards you. It's kind of interesting. Um, the chariot has a, a notion of planning, not too much, and it has a notion of I'm done, 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 and I'm rushing, you know? It's like nobody has any kind of patience whatsoever. Well, mutual energies between the two of you, of course, we are a little bit out of balance. Um, Six of Pentacles, the situation is still unfair and unjust and out of balance and not reciprocated, and that is no... It, that is. Uh, not an ounce of kindness in it with the six of pentacles in reverse we know the six of pentacles right it's a card of sharing um, and kindness and uh, charity and all that kind of that is a world of, of confusion right now you don't know what's going on they don't know what's going on we make all these scenarios in our head that's the seven of cups and maybe some of you have choices and they have choices too both of you one of you um, and we are a little bit kind of confused and looking at the cups and trying to see, okay, which one I want to drink from. And we do have the Eight of Swords, bound to a situation, bound to their own mental prison, uh, blindfolded, believing that maybe, you know, we need to figure something out. And probably um, this is your energy too, this is mutual energies. We want to understand, but that is, I mean something over our eyes and we cannot see properly i do love the energy because on your side libra we have the energy of waiting and on your person's side we have this energy of rushing and running so um it's like they are out of time and knight of swords is such an um an aggressive energy it's an action card but not aggressive in a sense of aggressive but it's like i that's it i, I have no patience with this um and um maybe a cancer you are dealing with right with the chariot i would say conflicting energies but in the same time it kind of makes sense um libra the energy on your side is very it's a solid one right three of pentacles is one of um of groundiness and 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 balance and collaboration and um of um kind of everyday life kind of energy and then with the temperance is an energy of patience right it's an energy of balance so of course some of you might be working towards might be a goal um but it's a beautiful energy of okay you know being uh, being uh, aligned with the universe and saying okay i'll wait for you to decide you know kind of energy i know you'll i know you'll deliver something i know it's going to be good so okay i'll wait you know, kind of energy. Um, Libra moving towards the outcome, right? We do have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse and we have your energy in reverse. So, yeah, an offer is coming, but we'll have, again, to be patient. It is on the table. It is in reverse, so it's not on your timetable. Uh, you might be wanting it right away. Uh, and February, probably, we might have to be patient about because we have many energies we need to deal with we have some burdens to put down we need to deal with and probably this is the energy of your soulmate trying to deal with commitment and what it means some unhappy events here taking place the sun in reverse and the seven of swords right some um, situations there that we need to figure out but yeah that is love yeah that is love and that is a soulmate bond with this person so now the person you are dealing with 
um, Page of Pentacles, they have an offer for you, but it is um, it is what it comes with unfinished business. Um, so might be an offer of let's deal with this. You know, let's have pages out about communication conversations. Um, you know, this can be the offer. Let's go out for a coffee and discuss whatever we need to discuss because, of course, we have death in reverse is a chapter not being closed properly, and 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 yeah, can also be a Scorpio you are dealing with, and they um, are coming from a distance. Um, and again, physical, emotional, we know it's one and the same, right? Um, well, one and the same, in in a sense, right? But it's getting closer to offer something that might look small right and i love this um libra because mutual energies between you and this person in the outcome is justice which is you and the king of swords gemini libra or aquarius but this is making things right <clears throat> so i believe they have this they might have this on their conscious um mind libra that is why they want to rush and your energy is all over their energy that is um that is another aspect in it right um but i love the balance in it justice is about balance is about karmic lessons is about bringing things um to their original place this is bringing um, a sense of balance to a situation you know where someone was taking advantage or something was not you know equally distributed in some way if i can say it like this and i do love them wanting to make things right and whatever you think you i believe it's because it's mutual energies right i honestly believe you also on your have something on your mind that you want to make right it's right here so it is a beautiful energy but if you are expecting like things to shift right away i would say let's fight for balance first right um yeah i know i know mixed energies libra let's have some guidance now we kind of established somebody here is making an offer and on your side we are you know it's a process and we are doing it step by step over here yeah and we are staying strong every time i see when i uh, do a reading and that is the, the the zodiac sign card showing up we know we know we're good we're safe you know in a sense that uh, we have that conscious mind that, you know, I'm out of balance, so I need to do something about it. Or I'm, I'm, I'm not my highest self. And I, you know, and when we know, we do something about it. Usually, or we should, or most of the time. When we know better, we do better, right, um, Libra? So, um, let's ask for some guidance. Um... I'm not seeing movement on your side, but I see a lot of movement towards you from their side. So, um, let's ask for some guidance. Let's see what we are supposed to do. We have new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Well, is it the same or is somebody new, Libra? Because new love can mean the same, but in a new format, right? Or completely a new person make the effort great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take I don't know Libra if you have a new love you are really guided to make the effort and see what this new love is all about and we have wedding this situation involves a marriage <clears throat> so that is marriage and that is new love so now we are in trouble and that is chemistry that is a strong magnetic attraction here and we need to have a conversation about heart to heart conversations honestly discuss your feelings with each other and we have reconciliation i it's um you are in trouble libra someone from the past is coming into your life well um yeah because we need to make the effort oh boy you have a lot of messages here now some of you having a new love you really have to make the effort and maybe you don't want them maybe they don't look like the person you want to be with but you are really guided and you know have that co conversation about chemistry and attraction and playfulness and whatever 
and somewhere there is a wedding in the process. Somebody's married in the process, in all this, in the big scheme of things. So, um, let's ask for some more guidance. I know. We have the Three of Cups, so that is a reconciliation coming. That's the Three of Cups, right? So wonderful news is on its way. Announcements regarding engagements, pregnancies, birth or graduations will be revealed. New friends will be made or communities of like-minded people will, will draw closer to one another. Exciting new beginnings or happy endings are just around the corner. Oh yeah. Let's have another one. Four of Pentacles. This is about money. It's time to reflect upon your relationship with money. Are you spending it too freely or are you holding on too tightly? This can also relate to how you give of yourself to others. Is your heart open or are you holding back? Your hard work and wise investments will bring great success. So you need to keep an eye on, my, on the money, Libra. I don't know. This is what I'm hearing. Money are not important, but that's my philosophy. Just a piece of paper. Um, four of Wands. Okay. So we have it here in the past as a separation and now we have it upright. So your hard work and sincere efforts lead you to a sense of safety, contentment and financial security. You deserve to take a break and enjoy the magnificent life you've created. It may be time to celebrate a wonderful event such as an engagement, a, we a wedding, buying a new home or the birth of a child. It's interesting, Three of Cups speaks of engagements, pregnancies, birth and graduations and somebody <laughs> you might find out, um, you know, or you might be invited to an event where they celebrate this because you have two cards or maybe somebody, you find, you find out somebody is pregnant, like having news. I know I have, so, <laughs> but uh, I don't know, maybe my energy um, showing up here. So just saying. <laughs> um, you might find out, yeah, that somebody is pregnant, or maybe you are. I don't know. You tell me, guys, in, in the comments. Um, let's ask for some guidance. Let's see what we need to manifest in regards to this situation. We have pride. Okay. I love myself and I see myself in everyone. So just in case you were thinking that maybe you are better that, than anyone else, the universe puts us in our place, right? We are just like everyone else. Uh, we have the action. I have the courage to express the unique loving colors of my soul. So speaking your truth and being authentic. That's another one. And we also have elevation. I love this card. I am making the conscious decision to raise my vibration of love. And we have empathy. I am open to seeing both sides of a situation. I know I try every time, but I don't know, you guys. Somebody is really guided to look at the situation from a place of empathy and manifest empathy in this situation. So I am open to seeing... This is what you have to tell yourself as a mantra, right? Till it, it takes form in your life. I am open to seeing both sides of a situation. So Libra... This is all that I have for you guys. You know I love you, right? You know I wish you nothing but the best. As always, please let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And come see me next time. Love you. Take care. Bye.